Yes, yes, look at this, I'm freezing my plums off. Great from Windows Home to Windows Pro or just get insanely cheap Windows and Office 2016 keys. Head on down to 0 and 9, links are in the description and I even have a discount code for you and they also have cheap gaming keys too. Okay, so $1,000 phone versus $150 phone. What is the difference? Well, representing the $150 phone is this Xiaomi Mi S2. $150. This thing is insanely awesome for $150. You will not believe it costs $150. And I'm actually filming now with the $1,000 phone, which is the Huawei P20 Pro. So later on, I'll start filming with this actual phone here. But just have a look at that display. It's a 720p display. It has a Snapdragon 625, plenty of power. 3,200 milliamp hour battery. Um, battery life is awesome because it has a 720p display. Now it does have that 18 by 9 ratio there so you get that super tall display. It looks really good. The build quality is really good. It is made out of plastic so that's the one thing. You know, $150 you're not getting metal but it certainly does look nice. Very good build quality. You can see the antenna lines there. The camera is really good. For a um, phone that costs $150 you're going to love the camera especially for selfies it's really good for selfies and just the camera in general it can only film full HD but the camera in general is really good um, you can use a third party camera app and you'll be able to um, film 4k but you know what are you missing out on compared to a thousand dollar phone with this all right the display is not as good the battery life is not as good as the Huawei P20, but the battery life on this will probably be better than most thousand dollar phones or most expensive phones. Um, the display, as I said, it's not as good, but it's a good display. It's a cracking display. You know, for the price, I mean, yes, you can spend fifty dollars and you get a better display, but I'm outside now. You know, it's not super bright, as you can see. It is twilight, but um, you can see the screen very legibly um, so it is a great display it's a great camera I really love using the camera the camera is you know akin to flagships of a few years ago so um, it is very good the only thing maybe in low light all right you can't film 4k but I really do like this phone I'm gonna switch over to this phone and show you some camera footage from it uh, filming video and I'll film the thousand dollar phone but you know for $150 I'll leave links in the description you cannot go wrong if someone wants a phone just get them this if they want don't want to spend anything they don't care about brands and stuff like that $150 well spent with this highly recommend it shake 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 so this is a stability test with the Xiaomi S2 now you can see how stable it is i'm going to switch over to the huawei p20 pro so now i'm filming with the huawei p20 pro and let me know what the stabilization is like it definitely looks better in terms of culling color come on come on come on yes yeah ah! what are you doing ah! Ah! Twilight in twilight. Look, look at the sun, it's going down. Oh, yeah, the sun's disappeared. Look, it's gone. It just disappeared. No, uh, yes, it's gone. No, it's gone. No, so I am now filming with the Xiaomi S2 1080p video. I'm filming the Huawei P20 Pro. This represents the flagship. So, what are the big differences? Obviously, the P20 is better. Better design, better build quality, better camera, better display, better sound, better, better, better. But do I miss anything with the $150 phone, the S2? And I have to say, using it for the last two weeks, I can say no, I don't miss anything. Maybe I miss a little bit the low light performance of the camera, but other than that, I get good cameras, 
I have a decent display, decent build quality, great battery life. It performs very well. It actually feels faster than the P20 Pro, and that's just the operating system that has nothing to do with the silicon inside. But using it for the last two weeks, I haven't felt like I'm really missing out on anything. It performs well, plays any game I want, performs day-to-day tasks just as fast as my P20 Pro. Maybe if I put them side by side, there'll be a difference, but I can't tell the difference just using it. And although everything is better on the P20 Pro, I don't think there's a big night and day difference. It's just everything is better. So that's it. I'll wrap it up here. Links are in the description where you can buy this S2. So if if someone wants a phone, a decent phone, they just don't care about brands or whatever, this is the one to get. Super cheap. If not this, get the Redmi 5 Plus if you want to spend a little bit more. But other than that, these Xiaomi phones are killer. And thank you for watching. Till next time, tally ho.